One pep, two peps, three peps. How we can count and measure these peps in trading? Hello, this is Igor from Mafic Sigur YouTube channel, and today we'll try to answer how to calculate and measure peps in forex trading. So, what is pep in trading? Pep or price interest or percentage interest point is a measurement unit for asset movement representing the lowest price increase for a given pair. So, when we create one move on one pip, you know it's a one of a very small incremental change. What we know is for euro dollar or British pound dollar or major forex pairs, 0.0001 is one pip, but we know one to two. For Japanese pairs like US dollar, Japanese yen, British pound, Japanese yen, etc., 0.01 is one pip. So, in this video, we will try to answer and show everything. So, let me start. We have two major questions. The first one, how to measure pips on the chart, and the second one, how to calculate pips for various training instruments so the first thing that you know when you trade is that you have two kind of the price buying and selling price and if you see you have a very small digit and the big digit as you can see right now 1.12655 five is a pip and this number nine below five is only a point a, a very small incremental change that we don't count as a pip it's a part of the pip and this kind of a points we can see when you have a five digit broker four digit broker will just show you the change in the number of the pips so let me further see a little bit what we have if we have for example 1.32456 it's a it's a price it can be priced for euro dollar for example you need to know that this number six is a point, it's not pip, it's a point, it's a something as a 0 0.6 pips. This number five is a number of the pips, we have a five pips. Then number four is a 40 pips, two is a 200 pips, three is a 3000 pips, and one is a 10,000 pips. That means if euro dollar is right now around one, if you want to see that euro dollar is number two, the price of euro dollar is a two, not one, you need to wait 10,000 pips increase to see this kind of a change. For example, in the next thing, you have the similar, similar explanation. 0 0.1 pip, we have one, we have a seven pips, 90 pips, 200 pips, 1,000 pips, and 10,000 pips for the price of a 0 0.12971. Now, we will try to answer one question. How I can measure pips on the chart? Is it hard to see? Can we do that? Yes, we can. And I will show how. For example, I'm right now on my MetaTrader account. I put a demo account because we will create some experiments just to learn. For example, if you want to measure pips, you can do very simple. You can do manually like this. I will just point price here. It's a 1.2058 and I can put here. It's a 1.1802, etc., etc. And here I have almost 200 pips. I can see very easily because here I can, I have 1.18 and here I have 1.20 and there is a 200 pips when we measure that and we want to measure that. But you can do that more precisely, for example. You can use a crosshair. Crosshair is a tool that you have a MetaTrader in your upper left, upper left side of MetaTrader platform. If you put a crosshair, you will see like this on the screen, like a cross, and then if you just try to measure, for example, like this, you can see, oh, ho, here it is. Okay, we have this, this number of pips or this number of pips. I can see this, no problem. Let me see for this kind of problem that we have. 
here you can see right now that we have almost 261 pep and you can just see from the chart manually but some people do not like that you want you don't want to match you just want to see on the screen the number of the peps of course there is an answer for that too if you go to this youtube video just below this video there is a link to our website you can go there and you can go to visit our web page and there will be the link to download for free the indicator that will calculate the pips for you it's a pip counter i will just add to my chart look this wow right now i have a pip counter so if i create one lot for example right now and buy british pound dollar you can see right now then change number of the peps and you can see you have a 0 0.1 pep now we are around one pep etc etc so as you can see we can trade and measure the number of the peps using the indicators if you don't like to measure or read from your from your meta trader platform right now so this is the this is the answer how to measure on the chart the number of the pips but i know what is the problem for most beginner traders it's a complicated relationship between lots pips and dollars and now we will try to solve that how to calculate pips on euro dollar for example we will try to learn that so if you have a euro dollar price gain from 1.3001 to 1.3002 it's a one pip gain and one thing if you remember you will be always able to calculate very easy how to trade for example major currency pair like euro dollar british pound dollar remember this sentence one mini lot size with a one pip gain is one dollar so i will re i will repeat again one mini lot size with one pip gain is a one dollar when you know this it's very easy to calculate everything for example for two mini lots with one pip gain you have a two dollar or with one mini lot size with two pips gain you have a two dollars etc etc so just remember this one mini lot size with one pip gain is one dollar so for example if you want to calculate for some other forex pairs it's not always one mini lot one pip gain one dollar it will be slight difference there why because a pip value is equal one pip slash exchange rate multiplied with lot size and uh, for example for euro of euro new zealand do dollar one micro lot and have one pip gain it's around 0 0.07 dollars so it's not one dollar it's there is a slightly difference because of exchanging rate why because we have a we calculate in dollars and we have a euro and new zealand dollars so it's easy when you have us dollar in the currency that you trade but when you don't have a dollar in the currency that you trade you need to use this formula but it's a very very similar like i said to one mini lot side size and one dollar for one pip but you need to use this formula when you want to calculate that i will just show you one practical example right now i'm on euro new zealand dollar on my metatrader account i will close my previous trade and what i will do i will create one lot trade just to see what will happen as you can see right now the price is 1.6355 and you can see that we're just uh, around three dollars in loss if i put my pip counter here you can see right now we are around the zero we have a loss because of spread of course above that above that but as you can see it's uh, around 0 0.07 per one micro lot we trade with lots so the number will increase actually it's very easy to trade like this and you don't need to worry when you know the basic equation let me back to the chapter and the more answers so it's very easy to trade us dollar related forex pair and the pairs that don't have us dollar but using this equation you can calculate and see 
and it's not problematic for trading. Usually it's around one mini lot size for one pip is one dollar. But how to calculate Japanese yen pips? So there is a problem here. Japanese yen related forex pairs are slightly different. You have a three digits, then you have a dot, then you have a two digits. And you need to remember that the last digit is one pip. So if you have a 114.08 and price increase for one, 114.09, it's one pip. For example, for British pound, Japanese yen, price gained from, uh, from 156.32 to 156.33 is just one pip difference in Japanese, British pound, Japanese yen. We created a special video, how to calculate gold pips in MetaTrader 4. After this video, you will see, you will see the link to check this, this article and this video on YouTube. But I just want to repeat how you can trade gold on MetaTrader platform and how to trade micro lot trading size, pips and gains. So, if you buy one micro lot from, from one pip change, it's a, it's a, from 100 pips change, it's a one dollar. As you can see, you have 1,693 and price increase to 1694 so from 93 to 94 it's a 100 pips remember 100 pips and remember that one micro lot for 100 pips is one dollar one mini lot for 100 pips is a ten dollars and one lot for 100 pips is a hundred dollars so remember that that if you trade gold and uh you have a very slightly change in the price, for example, only one pip, you will really, really win micro lots, have a little, little price change. So majority Forex brokers use this, use this ratio, 100 pips, $1 for one micro lot. But there is a brokers that want to increase this. And for example, they have 100 pips and one micro lot, they will put a 10 and hundred dollars. But we'll talk about major forex brokers that use this equation. Of course, if you want to learn more and everything about calculating gold pips in MetaTrader 4, please go to our video. You have a link in this video. Now, what I want to tell you that the similar thing is uh, how to calculate pips on oil. And for oil, one pip is a, is a change from, if you have a 140, price and you have a 40.01 it's a one pin change and for micro lot it's a 0.01 dollar for mini lot it's a 0.1 dollar and for lot it's one dollar so the the, the the easiest way to remember how to calculate pips and oil is to remember this equation one lot from 40 to 40.01 is a one dollar or one pip and uh, when traders calculate all pips just remember one lot oil trading size with the one pip move equals one dollar i'll repeat one lot oil trading size with one pip move equals one dollar now let me talk about how to count pips on bitcoin it is slightly different but it's not hard remember that bitcoin has one long price like a uh, fifty six thousand dollars for example that there is a dot and you have a decimal place and have you have a two digits the last digit is the number of the pips. So as you can see, if you have, if you have a fifty-six thousand dollars six hundred eighty-nine point nine four, and you increase just for one pip difference, you will go to ninety-five, and this is the whole story. The way how you calculate gold or oil or all other instruments, the same thing you can trade the size and lots and everything. If you want to count pips on indices, the story. Is the same if you see price difference from the for example 3865 up to 3865.1 this point one is one pip on SPX 500 and calculate lot and size if you trade one lot size of for example US 30 indices MT4 you remember that one pip is a 0 0.1 dollar so this is the this is the simple thing but just to remember 
that you can trade except forex major par pairs and other forex pairs you can trade a gold you can trade indices you can trade stocks you can trade everything on metatrader platform and it's not complicated to calculate lots mini lots trading size pips and everything when you start to trade and you when you pick one lot size it's easy because you will not increase lot size every single day you will trade the long term and you will will be able to calculate very fast your trades even without a calculator now for the end i will just go to the metatrader platform i'm on the metatrader platform and right now i will go to one indice it's a 500 the best stocks indices in the united states us 500 and you know i will close this trade right now i will close and i will create one buy trade for one lot and you can see right now if you put if you see that right now we have 4747 seven. we change the number of the pips but you can see that the profit here is a very small and you see that when you trade indices on the metatrader platform even in lots you will in couple minutes you can lose one dollar two dollars and if you trade that, that it's not too much and uh lots one lot size when you trade indices in metatrader platform it's not huge position it's a small position so do not worry and uh if you want to trade micro lots like now me you can see that your price will be around zero a long time because uh, because it's very small movements in s s p 500 when you trade stocks or when you trade a meta meta trader platform indices one micro lot is a very 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 small size so just remember that when you trade see my two trades one micro lot and my lot and you will see the difference how that small position is in reality and in, in real trading so please just visit our website you can our website below this video you have a links you have a links to download and you can you can check other other videos i wish you great day and bye bye